welcome to Galaxy Aerospace Ghana. This is the Space News. Just now, Mainta Yuvuga is my name. The headline Blue Origin and SpaceX start work on cargo versions of crewed lunar landers. NASA has exercised options in Human Landing System awards made to Blue Origin and SpaceX to begin initial design and development work of versions of their landers that can carry large amounts of cargo to the lunar surface. NASA expects these large cargo landers to have high commonality with the Human Landing Systems already in work with adjustments to the payload interfaces and deployment mechanisms. The preliminary design requirements include delivering 12 to 50 metric tons to the lunar surface. NASA added that no payloads have been identified yet for those landers. The earliest the cargo landers will be used as Artemis 7, a mission projected for no earlier than the early 2030s. Neither company has publicly discussed work on cargo versions of their HLS landers. Elon Musk, chief executive of SpaceX, did mention the abilities of his company's Starship vehicle to land large payloads on the moon. Blue Origin and SpaceX are not the only ones working on large cargo lander. The European Space Agency is in the early phases of development of Argonauts, a cargo lander that ESA is proposing to offer for future Artemis missions. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more space news updates.